This is a Sting Greenlight trailer for Zookeeper Raw So Long Space Robot, that's its full name. Now, I'm not going to beat about the bush because this trailer certainly doesn't. It's trying to be a kid's game that's also creepy. That's, that's the conceit of it. The game already with its weird colours and, uh, and funny voice that you can hear there. And all of this, all the skipping stuff like the VCR stuff, like it, there's no subtlety here. The game has instantly shot its load, if you will, by uh, being subversive. And, it, and I have to ask the question, is it subversive if you automatically start with the subversion? To be subversive at this point, you'd have to make us think it was a very creepy game. One of these, you know, ARG style, uh, Five Nights at Freddy-esque kids game that goes a bit creepy, creepy pasta style stuff. Oh yeah, this just repeats. Nighttime can be scary. Nighttime can be scary. Um, but yeah, if it had started like this, as it does, and then had it turned out to be a genuine, fun kids game for all the family, that would be subversive. But this kind of sets its one pitch and stays there. So there's no real surprise. Yeah, there, there up and down goes the crow. And then a bit of that and, and this. So I can't say I'm too impressed, because this isn't how you do this. Sorry, this ain't how you do this. You know, there have been subversive games that break the fourth wall and do all that, you know, Pony Island and and that sort of thing. But this isn't that, because Pony Island has a sense of pacing and scale and, and a building of drama, whereas this kind of just starts straight away and says, hey, you know what kind of game this is? <laughs> so that's not too impressive. Description. Zookeeper is an educational game about running a zoo. You have to move the animals around the zoo by placing the right food in the right way. You will be guided by Crow and Jasper. You will learn interesting animal facts on how to manage a zoo. Become the best zookeeper. And then there's some bilingual bonus text here. You can and save the zoo. That's what it says. Your father would be very proud of you, young one. Uh, there's a link to the full game there if you're interested. I don't recommend clicking on links on Greenlight because sometimes they lead to viruses. That actually happens. Puzzle mechanics, fun for all ages. Educational animal fun. Animal feeding. Zoo. Bilingual bonus. Crow. Mini games and animals fun. Let Crow and Jasper guide you to becoming a better zookeeper. And then more things Alexander. More things So Long Space Robot. Yeah. Okay, so I've already talked about the main problem of this game is that it, you know, it shot its wad instantly uh, with its trailer. Uh, that's already said everything that needs to be said. The other problem is that it's using clip art. Now, the game is uh, not shy about that. There is an update that shows the Zookeeper bibliography, which has links to all of the free sounds and free images and basically free everything uh, that this game uses. There's no original art in here whatsoever, which is an issue if you're trying to do, you know, this creepy pasta style uh, subversive fourth wall breaking horror game masquerading as a kids game, because without anything original, it loses any bite it has, because we can all see the clip art picture of a crow online. It's not really scary when we know it's just a bunch of clip art randomly thrown together with some free sounds. It's not scary. Like, like what you're trying to achieve has already been undermined. It's been undermined because there's nothing there that's yours. You've just rearranged them and added some, some film effects in, you know, whatever video editor you're using. The other and perhaps uh, most important problem with this game is that it's just trying too hard. Uh, I think the fact that the, the, tr the trailer instantly shows off the game's conceit uh, without any surprises in the footage speaks volumes of that. Uh, this is a game that wants to be creepy, it wants to be the next uh, uh, creepy game, the next Pony Island or what have you, and it's just, it's not going to get there because it so desperately wants to be that. Uh, I've said this about games like Call of Duty where uh, companies like like EA want their own Call of Duty and I'm like you're never going to be Call of Duty because you want to be Call of Duty. Call of Duty became this big thing, it became Call of Duty because it didn't want to be Call of Duty, it was it was being its own thing and the market latched onto that for, for good or bad, you know, depending on what you think of Call of Duty. And the same can be said of your Five Nights at Freddy's, the same can be said of the critical acclaim of uh, Pony Island. These games weren't desperately trying to be something else and that's why they succeeded because a market leader leads it doesn't follow whereas this is just like it, it's so transparently nakedly chasing 
the the other games that have come before it. And I think you can see the cynicism in that. You can see the cynicism in someone just collecting some free clip art online and adding some some film grain effect to it. Like it's it's so cut and paste. And in more ways than one, it's like they're painting by numbers. Like, what, what are the creepy things we can do? Uh, Text-to-speech guy, uh, repeated phrases, uh, some, you know, random foreign text. Why not? It just doesn't work. It, it, it doesn't work. And I wish you all the best. And I, I'm all for these kinds of games. I don't want to uh, just cast dispersions on it. Uh, I'm all for subversive, weird, creepy games that play with the medium and, and mess around with our expectations. Uh, but you've got to set the expectations up first before you can twist them to what you need. We're already expecting what this game can do now. That trailer said everything about it and the description just backed it up. There's nothing to subvert. There's nothing to undermine uh, from the player's experience. There's I'm going into this knowing full well what to expect, and that is poison for a game like this. So, there you go. That Zookeeper. You can do better than clip art, come on.